One solution is minus omega square m plus 2k is equal to k. That gives me omega square is equal to k over m. And then the other solution is therefore the omega square is equal to 3k over m. Therefore, this is correct. Why? Because when it moves like this, this mass will experience this k and this k and suppose this one moves one unit and this one moves one unit and the force experienced by this mass is k k multiplied by 2 so therefore that is 3k as he intuitively points out and it means that his intuition is much better than my intuition we have a better future <laughs> so so we are happy, right? I'm wrong, I was wrong, and he is right. Because therefore we are happy. Because we are getting better and better. Right? So this is 3K. The correction is 3K over M. Okay, what is the next step? What is next step? What is next step? We plug this value to here and get corresponding u1 and u2. Right? Physically meaning that I am, I am exciting the system with omega 1 and I want to get the displacement of this and this. And I excite the system with Exciting omega 2, and I want to know the relation between this displacement and this displacement. This is a physical demonstration. How do I do mathematically? I just put this omega 1 over here. Okay, let's do it. Then, the first equation is k over n multiply by m plus 2k minus k and minus k k over m multiply by m plus 2k and this is u11 and u21 equal g ok and this equation is simply 3k minus k minus k 3k u11 u21 0 the equation is it right? No, my ass, my Everybody is not sleeping. I am happy. Therefore, U11 one one and U21 one is it minus? I don't like this solution. B 
because I want to have this. And I have this. Times u11 minus ku21 equals zero. Therefore, u11 equals u21. Therefore, I have. Wow! <laughs> you got it, huh? You got the same result as we had by inspection. Okay, but, but what we did over here, we divide this matrix by K. Right? Okay, keeping that in my, in our mind, let's do the second one. Second one is omega 2 k is 3k over m, therefore minus 3k over m. Multiply by m plus 2k and minus 3k over m multiply by m plus 2k and give us this one is minus 3 plus 2 that is minus k and this is minus k therefore what I have u 1 2 u 2 2 is equal to, if we solve this linear equation, minus k u11, minus k u21 equals 0, therefore u21 is equal to minus u, u11. So I can write 1 minus 1. <laughs> you had the same result as we had over here. Okay? That is interesting. That is interesting. Okay. If we multiply this one to the transpose of U2, then what we will have? We will have U1 multiply U2 transpose is <coughs> or U1 transpose U2 is transpose is zero. That means these two vectors are also going to each other. Also go on each other. Wow. What the hell is this? What what this means actually? What 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 makes us happy of this property? Because two vectors are also going on each other, meaning that 